of the Dunk Project, baby. A live coaching community with me for any athlete that wants to get their bounce up, strength, speed, and of course technique. So I'm gonna be watching your form, I'm gonna be watching your workouts, making sure you do it perfect. And on top of that, we're gonna be working on everything outside of the dunk training. The mindset, the nutrition, the rehab, the prehab, the energy, let's go. At only 5'10", I've increased my vertical over 12 inches. I wanna help you do the same, and this is where it happens. Let's go. What the fuck are you waiting for? <laughs> Are you trying to land this dunk because somebody said you couldn't? Or are you trying to land the dunk because you love it? Or are you trying to focus on one dunk when you should be working on your technique to be more balanced so that way in long term you have left, right, and right, left plants? Notice your thoughts because if you can do that, you could be the most effective. These are the things I live for right here. I woke up sweating today. That's how I know my metabolism's cooking. The body's on fire. You think I can feel like this every day? No, but I strive to. That's the goal. Ah, what is good? Welcome back to Dunk Tip Tuesday. New Dunk Tip every freaking Tuesday. You know the deal. Thank you for your comments. This week we're doing how to jump and dunk with more energy. You guys know this is my specialty. I saw a lot of comments on this. Excited. There's a lot to go into, so maybe this will be part one. Leave your comments. Let me know what you want to see. Thank you for all the questions. Thank you for the comments. And by the way, the comments of the week is bum, 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 bum. you can win a free where is it and the winner is for the free jump program by your boy i saw my own comment martin nico martin martin sorry martin nico learning a lot from you thanks you got the winner baby i'll be in touch with you congrats leave a comment to win this week's comment of the winner week <laughs> what it's too warm okay Whew. So the reason why energy is so important and it's one of my favorite feelings or things to work on and help people with because it's my favorite way to be just simply be happy and enjoy life to the fullest. And the pinnacle of that is dunking. And when you dunk, if you have a full tank of energy, not only do you dunk or jump your best, but you jump your highest. So you need everything in tune, mentally focused, physically able and ready to explode. It's the most explosive thing you can do is get off the ground. Sprinting is explosive because you're pushing as hard as you possibly can, but jumping, you're literally trying to jump off the ground. You're pushing force into the ground and the more force you can apply, the higher you can get. So energy is maybe number one because you could have all the muscle in the world. You could have all the, the visualizations done in the world you can do, have all the goals you want, done everything you possibly could do, the recovery, but if your energy, well, recovery would help you get energy, but the point is, if you have everything worked out, your technique is perfect, that's the one I was looking for. Everything's perfect, but you, you didn't sleep well, that's one way you don't lose it, you lose energy, but just say your tank isn't full. You're just not gonna be able to push your fastest. It's kind of like if you have everything lined up to go down snowboarding, you have your gear, you have your whatever you have food in your body you, you got to the mountain but you don't have your snowboard you, you just simply can't do it you don't have the equipment and that's your energy tank that's a terrible analogy let's think of another one i can't believe i skipped over this analogy it's your car you have the wheels you have the steering wheel you have your music ready to play you got all the seats you got all the engines everything but there's no gas in the car it's not going to go anywhere that's your energy you need the fuel so i'm going to go over quick basics but i also want to talk about the mindset of it because it's it's even more important for you to understand what you're doing so the quick ones are sleep is number one it's really important for you to get a good night's sleep not for just energy but to recover everything outside the workout is training not just your workout is training so you train in the gym maybe an hour a day maybe it's not even every day everything outside of that is affecting your energy from the stress you have at school or work to where you're walking to getting groceries to everything you do it's using your energy so you need to build awareness and that's the number one key so you have sleep you have the nutrition when you have good fuel in your body it's easier for your body to digest it converts easier you're lighter you're not your body's not working on garbage fuel you're giving it good fuel and what i mean by the awareness is if you go throughout your day thinking that everything outside the gym session is training you're going to start to build awareness and when you feel great and when you don't and that is my favorite feeling that's why i've become so good at it because i've just noticed days where i could dunk really well and my energy was just low 
and I just don't even feel good. And the end, at the end of the day, I do it because I love it and I have fun. So I wonder why I have less of those days even if I jump okay. So I want high energy and I want to jump high. And the whole point of all of this is to jump higher and to dunk better. And there's nothing better than flying high and landing those dunks. And for me, my experience, the most important thing is being able to push yourself to that max. And one of the biggest keys is understanding you can't do that every single session. But you can keep increasing yourself to do it more and more. So if I tell you right now I jump about once a week, that's my current plan, but over time, once I get used to that and once I'm healthier and different things and I'm doing yoga to condition my muscles in a different way, I'm doing a little more cardio to get leaner. Leanest your boy's ever been with the highest skeletal mass because I'm tracking it now. So when you track things like your skeletal mass, if you have access to that, your weight, your body fat percentage, you can make progress slowly. And if, if I'm increasing my muscle mass and keeping my body fat going down, now I'm getting stronger and leaner, right? It's just simple math that's obviously going to help me be more athletic and as I do that and I'm jumping once a week keeping my bounce there if I'm if I'm tracking how many jumps I do and how good I feel on that day like for example if I jump once a week and I'm like every time I go to that jump session I'm maxed out if you looked at my last video the best vlog of all time I was like I'm sweating I woke up with my energy so full that I felt amazing I didn't jump that great my techniques not that great but my energy was super high so if I can have more of those days I can put more work in and that is huge because if you have a full tank seven days a week, then every session, every stretch session, every workout, every strength building, every plyometric day, all of those days, you're going to hit the right sweet spot. That leads me to another key, which is that sweet spot. Not every day you want to push yourself to the freaking max. On a high day when your energy is high, that's why I like to wear this whoop band. You can get the description in the below for a free month. I wear it because it helps me understand what days I'm feeling great. It talks about your, your heart rate and your heart rate variability. It shows me my sleep. And so when I have a high energy day, my body's ready to take on strain. I know I can push myself to the limit and try to increase that limit. But other days when I don't have the most energy, I could still push myself to to cause a stimulus response to get better. But if I push myself to that limit, I may overdo it. And that is where I don't want you to overtrain where you get super fatigued and then you're out for a couple of days or worst case scenario, you get injured. And that is that stimulus sweet spot I hammer home so much. And that's how I've felt the best. And a lot of times it's less is more. We always want to do more and more and more. Um, and the biggest mistake I see a lot is looking for that exercise, looking for this. And this is where I want to end on the mindset. Every single thing needs needs work from your toes up to your head. And by head, I even mean like your neck and your mobility and your positioning of your eyes when you jump. But I also mean your mentality, what you're thinking about when you're jumping, when you're training. Are you focused on the training? Or are you thinking about something else? Are you trying to land this dunk because somebody said you couldn't? Or are you trying to land the dunk because you love it? Or are you trying to focus on one dunk when you should be working on your technique to be more balanced? So that way, in long term, you have left, right, and right, left plants. Notice your thoughts because if you can do that, you could be the most effective athlete you can be and be the best, smartest training partner to yourself. Because if you're not training smart, you're going to be all over the place and you're going to be wondering all these different things. There's going to be so many variables and you're not going to make progress. And that's why people plateau because they get unfocused. So building this awareness every single day, a few things randomly is Every single day is leg day. That's a term I like to use for myself because I can always do something. I have really tight hips and hamstrings. You could stretch every single day. And if you think it's going to be too much and people, some people say this, some people say that, I, first of all, I'm telling you it's not too much. You could stretch every single day. Just don't do it right before your workout. But even for myself, I've talked to trainers that say, everybody says it's fine, but sometimes I still worry, is it going to affect my training? Try it. You're not going to hurt yourself. You're just going to see, um, maybe I don't jump well. And going back to the whole point of this podcast, this episode is energy. See what you can do. Keep testing your energy limits. That's, that's what we're doing with everything we're doing. We're trying to test our limits, and I want you to test that with energy. So figure out what is causing you to have high energy or what energy you like. Maybe it's a really focused feeling where you're just calm but super focused, and maybe you realize that's because in the morning you did something very mindful like reading or journaling or meditation, or maybe you just like those days where you're feeling crazy and you have no, you, you feel angry, you almost feel like you want to fight the rim, right? That's fine. Whatever gives you that high energy, whatever energy you like the best or makes you feel the happiest, that's what you go with. And then you reverse engineer what you did that day. So 
That's it. Build awareness on your energy. Keep pushing the energy limits. And every single day, there's something to work on. Think about every single day, no matter if you just put your the hardest jump day you did, the next day you could recover. Recovery is more important than the training because you're doing it every time you step outside the gym. Even if you train every day, that's only one to two hours a day. The rest of the day, you're filling your body with inspiration, motivation, just energy of what you're thinking and building your subconscious, but also you're filling it with nutrition. You're walking around through the day. You could always be working on your mobility. You can always be getting blood flow and new oxygen to your cells. And that's it. Dunk Tip Tuesday, baby. Who's dropping knowledge like this? Nobody. I'm dropping knowledge so you can get up. So you drop and get up. Duality, yin and yang, baby. (laughs) Have a good one. Leave a comment what you want to see. Thank you for everything, and I'll see you soon. Toodaloo. Ah, let's go. The Dunk Project, baby. A live coaching community with me for any athlete that wants to get their bounce up, strength, speed, and of course, technique. So I'm going to be watching your form. I'm going to be watching your workouts, making sure you do it perfect. And on top of that, we're going to be working on everything outside of the dunk training, the mindset, the nutrition, the rehab, the prehab, the energy. Let's go. At only 5'10", I've increased my vertical over 12 inches. I want to help you do the same. And this is where it happens. Let's go. What the fuck are you waiting for?